All right, it's March 14th today, and I'm gonna be pruning and repotting these, I'm pretty sure they're clementines. Clementine is some sort of mix between a mandarin orange and a pomelo or something. Anyways, I think that's what they are. I just planted seeds from, you know, what I think were clementines that I bought from the store quite a while ago. Anyways, four of them survived. And I know four is not the, you know, not the luckiest number in bonsai, but that's okay. I'm gonna plant them all together as a small forest grouping in this pot. Start training them up in a, you know, training bonsai pot. So I'll do the make the cuts first. I'm going to cut these three, the big ones, and then there's this one that hasn't grown as much. I'll probably put that in the back of the planting and not prune it yet. This one kind of, you know, I think got a little too top heavy and was flopping around a lot. So it developed some scarring there, but it's, you know, maybe because of that it really strengthened up and it's the biggest one in the pot so yeah it's definitely time to repot these there's a ton of roots in the bottom and there's actually fresh white ones that have been growing for about a week now so i figure it's the best time to repot and prune they've been inside their whole lives on the windowsill in the kitchen so once the weather's warm enough in the spring, they'll be going outside and hopefully growing real big this year. And in the meantime, I'll put the cuttings back in, back in the pot I came from in the soil and hope for the best. See if I can propagate some of these. Okay, well the first thing I'm gonna do here is make these cuts to make this more manageable. So I want everything to be about the same height. So you know I'll cut this back to somewhere I think I'll cut it back to the first leaf. So at least there's one leaf on it still to collect energy. So yeah, that's one good leaf. All the rest of them below have fallen off, but there's quite a bunch of nodes all the way up to here. This one, I'll be able to keep a few more leaves. I'll cut it off. I should probably go a little shorter with these, but they're going to be in a forest, so they don't need to have lots of movement near the bottom, so I'm just going to go to here. So those are roughly the same height now. This other big one, come back to... Here. So they've all got some nice healthy leaves on them to help them keep growing. I don't really want to defoliate everything and force new growth. Um, you know, they're still fairly young and I'm going to repot them so they'll be a little bit shocked from that. Okay, well I think that's, that's good for the chopping. I'll put these in some water for now and Plant them as cuttings later. Okay, so this is what that looks like up close. I'll repot them in roughly the same 
you know, a similar kind of grouping. The big three will be, maybe I'll do it like that. And then the small one is gonna be in the background off to the side. Anyways, the cuttings and some water for now. Okay, well, anyways, showed it before, but that's what the roots look like coming out of the bottom. Let's see if I can pull these out in one piece. Pretty much all the roots are at the bottom of this thing. I think partially because of the clear pot, partially because it dried out, you know, quite heavily in between waterings, probably. So I'm going to get these all bare rooted. Yeah, you can see the fresh white growing tips on everything. So I think this is a, maybe, I mean, citrus you can repot year round as long as they're healthy and strong. Um, these are fairly young ones. So hopefully, you know, there's enough energy in the roots and up in the leaves to keep keep everything alive. I'm going to bare root and separate everything for now. Do a bit of root pruning on each one and then you know plant them all together and then once I do that um, you know I'll probably 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 treat all the, the root systems as one one whole system at that point, rather than always separating them when I repot. I guess, yeah, it's gonna look more like a forest and not like a clump style or anything. It's a pretty wild root development on the bottom there. I can definitely cut off all that bottom and keep this, prune off the long ones, keep that as my new root system. That's really good actually. That was the biggest one. This one is a bit of a strange kind of vertical root system. We had to tear some roots there, but we'll do some more pruning on those anyways. Yep. Okay, I'm going to go clean these off and clean up this soil. I'll be right back. got four trees from biggest to smallest left to right the biggest tree I'm gonna have in the front and these trees might even be a little too tall for this pot to grow as a forest together but that's okay so I think for now I'm gonna prune the roots off to here, gets rid of all of that curling stuff at the bottom. I'll just prune back these long ones a little bit. And yeah, everything's kind of growing in a good direction. Nothing's crossing too badly. Um, roots are going growing semi radially already. This one's really high. It'll probably come off eventually, but hopefully the rest of these will keep growing. I'll just 
snip, you know, the tip tips back here and there to encourage a little bit of growth. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. Just put a little bit of soil in there to keep it sturdy. Make sure the roots are going where they should be going. Maybe because the roots are strong coming this way, I'm going to put this one over in this corner of the pot as close to the front as I can. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Just enough to keep it in place. Okay, now I've got the next mess of roots here. Got a bunch of roots above this point. And I think that would be a good spot to cut it back to. So let's do that. Right there. That's gone, and this one's growing kind of a funny angle out of here. It comes this way and then kind of takes a 90 degree turn that way. I think maybe I'll actually get rid of that one entirely. That was a lot of root also. Leave this small one to grow this way. These ones, this is kind of a big knotted mess in there. Maybe I'll get rid of that. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Okay, well, that's a lot of root that came off of this one. Just take a couple of the tips. Okay, so this one is a little bit thicker and roughly the exact same height, so I think I'll put this one over on this side, kind of closer to here, actually slightly behind. So I was able to get those roots spread out semi-radially. Alright, that's okay I think. Now this one, that's a pretty bad root system. I can kind of splay this out like that. I need to, you know, eventually I would like to cut it all the way back to here, but I need to encourage some roots up at the top here. Encourage that to grow out this way. So, for now, I'm just going to cut that. Okay, I think that's enough. 
Um, a little bit tricky to plant that back here, but I think I'm going to do that. Try to get it as far down in there as I can and get this, this one kind of pushed down into the soil there. I hope you can see that on camera. I think you can. Okay. It's not looking. I don't know, I think it's okay. They're a little further back than I originally planned. But that's fine. This one I'm gonna chop the roots way back. I didn't prune the top at all. I should probably cut off some of these leaves also. So the root's not struggling too much. Okay, this isn't too bad actually. These thinner ones up top I'll definitely keep. Those. And I'll cut back most of this tap root all the way back to there. I'm gonna leave everything else. Try to encourage those roots to grow you know, as radially as possible, as always. So for those of you who are still watching and are extremely bored, and I don't talk very much on these videos usually, especially when I'm doing stuff. You know, these videos are more just to document my, my bonsai journey as I delve deeper and deeper into the hobby. My trees get older. 
and I start using some more prehistoric type materials and techniques. Well, that's not perfect. Put a little stone there because this one's a little pretty loose still. Just push it down and then water the soil and it'll firm up a little bit more. Okay, well, that's it. There's my little clementine orange forest, little bonsai forest, pre-bonsai anyways, just starting its life. Hopefully these will grow a lot this summer and I can do some more pruning by the time I bring them back in for the, the winter. All right, I'm gonna get those cuttings potted up and then that'll be that. All right, and that's the end of that. So there's the three cuttings. I didn't break them up into smaller ones. I just planted them, you know, their full length. I've already got the four trees that are growing. I didn't need to, you know, get as many cuttings as I could like I did with the lemon because I only had one of those. I took a whole bunch of the lower leaves off this one and this one, a couple off this one, took off the leaves that were kind of crossing each other. So I think it looks slightly more like a tiny little forest now. Hopefully those will get some, some side branching and these cuttings will grow some roots and I can have a cool update to show you guys next time by the end of the summer. Okay, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.